Hey guys, welcome back. This is gonna be part two of my makeup declutter. Please check out part one if you haven't already. I will link it up in the cards. You can also go to my makeup declutter playlist and check it out there. What we did in the last makeup declutter was everything from this left side here, which included my primers, my setting sprays, I went through my concealers, my face powders and powder highlighters, powder blushes and bronzers. We are now on to this side of the drawers, which is a lot of my cream product, like the odds and ends, mascaras, liners, lip liners, things like that. We're gonna go over first and at the bottom is where my eyeshadows start. So I think we will go over lip liners. I keep all of my lip liners here on the top of my, I don't know, makeup bench or whatever. So I think we'll pull these out. I'm gonna do it the same way that I did before and then I'm just gonna plop us down on the floor and then go through them. I'm not planning on decluttering too many of the lip liners, but I figure that if I'm gonna go through the drawers with you, you're gonna wanna see the product. So I'll just show you everything even if I don't end up decluttering anything. I'm gonna take the liners, we'll plop it down on the floor and we'll get started going through them. We are back on the floor. I did put this blanket down. Last time I was doing it on the floor and it was like really hard because I was sitting with like my legs crossed and my ankles were killing me. So hopefully this is not too distracting a background, but I'm just gonna pull like all of these out and we'll go through them. Like I said, I'm just gonna show you everything just so that it feels like more of a, I don't know, collection slash declutter. I hate to leave some things out and then just show you the things that I'm gonna declutter. I thought we'd just go through everything. I have four here from Juvia's Place. These are the Lux liners. This one's in Cola Lush. This is Love Me and then Sweet Nothing. They're all really like neutral colors. And I think that Juvia's Place has good lip liners and they're pretty inexpensive. So holding on to all of those. I have one from Charlotte Tilbury, just a mini and pillow talk. I like this one. I have a mini of the Sephora collection. This is just like called a lip liner to go. This one is in vintage pink. I think this is a really creamy like pencil mini. I quite like this one. Like it's the creamiest little pencil one that I have. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. I think I just have two of the Sephora collection. These ones are called the Rouge Gel Lip Liners. And this one is in Sink or Suede, and this one's in Nothing But Nude. These are really creamy lip liners, but they're just not the longest lasting. I like them because they're comfortable. It's just that they don't, they don't stay on my lips for very long, but I am gonna hold on to those. I have two here that I'm still testing out from Basic Beauty. So far, I really like them, and I like them very specifically for fall because they're good like brown toned shades. This one is in Latte and this one is in Coco. I have these up in my vanity because I'm still testing these out. So I am gonna hold on to these ones. I have one here from Dragon Beauty. I don't think this is like good. It came in a boxy charm. It's called the Lip Job Liner. I can't really find a shade on this. It's a nice creamy pencil formula. It kind of smells a little like I don't know, already it smells a little like a crayon. So I'm not sure that this is still good. I think the formula is okay. Like it's a pretty creamy pencil formula and it lasts a good amount of time and I do like the shade. I'm gonna hold on to this. I just don't know how much longer I'm gonna hold on to it. It's kind of going into my speed reviews box for faves and fails for next month. But yeah, I think that it's probably just a product that's been held by BoxyCharm too long and it's just going bad. I have a couple from LA Girl. So this one is in Karma and this one is in Mauve. They actually have like a hint of shimmer to them. They're nice and like long lasting, but they're a thicker formula. So they're not good for like filling in your whole lips because I feel like they will pill up, but they are really good lip liners, super inexpensive from the drugstore. I think I have two of the contour, lip contour 2.0s from Huda Beauty. I have one in rusty pink, and then I have another one in pinky brown. I think these are really good lip liners. They are pretty long lasting, but they're a really creamy formula. Three here of the retractable ones from NYX. This one is in nectar, this one is plum, and this one is in nude pink. These are really great liners. They're long lasting, but they're also creamy. I do like retractable lip liners. I think I like them more than the pencil lip liners. This is one from Becca in the shade Fearless. I don't know that this has gone bad yet. Like I would say that it still smells good. It still performs well. And I like having a brown toned liner. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I have one of my favorite lip liners from Persona. This is in the shade Almond. Super creamy, super long lasting formula. This one here is from Mellow Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Rose. It's really pretty, again, very creamy pencil formula. I have one from Rare Beauty from the Kind Words collection. This one is in the shade Humble. I have the matching lipstick. Holding on to that. 
I still have one from KKW Beauty. I think that this lip liner was a great formula. I always loved like all the shades that came in the line. This one is in the shade Nude One. Such a good creamy pencil formula. I don't think this is bad yet, so I'm gonna continue to hold on to it. Oops, I found another one of the retractable lip liners from NYX. This is one of my favorite colors. This is in the shade Jewel. I have one from Smashbox. It's the Always Sharp Lip Liner. This one is in Nude Light. I think this is a really good tone. Like it's a brown, but almost orange tone. So I like this shade. I'm gonna hold on to that. I have one here from Beauty Vault. I think this is a really good rich berry tone. And this one's in the shade Carmen. Love that one. I have one from About Face. This is one of the matte lip liners. This is in Midnight Seduction. Really good formulation, lasts a long time, very creamy pencil formula. I have one from Patrick Ta. This is one of the Precision Lip Crayons. So I don't know if it's technically like a lip liner and I have the matching lipstick. This is in the shade That's Why She's Late. It's just a little bit of a thicker tip than I like for my lip liners and it makes it a little bit difficult to apply it precisely. I think maybe it's supposed to be like a lip crayon, but even then like, I don't know, you can only use kind of like one edge to get it really precise. I do like the formula and I love the formula of the lipstick. It's just not my favorite lip liner. It's like a true, true red color. And I am gonna hold on to that one. I have one from Marc Jacobs. This is one of their Poutwear lip liners. Uh, obviously Marc Jacobs isn't doing its thing anymore, but I really liked this lip liner. I was a huge fan of a lot of the Marc Jacobs Beauty products. This one is in the shade Primrose. Keeping that, I have one from NYX. This is one of their just like straight lip pencils, not the retractable kind. I prefer the retractable one, but I think this is a pretty good formula. Like I think it's kind of creamy. It's not as creamy as some of my other pencil ones. This one's in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. So I do like the shade. One that I'm gonna get rid of because it's just not a good shade. It's like too light, almost the same as my lip color. It doesn't show up is from Jason Wu. It's the Wu Me Stay In Line Lip Pencil. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I have one from Milani that is Color Statement Lip Liner. This one's in the shade 03 Nude. It's pretty good. Not my creamiest lip pencil, but I still like it. One from Pat McGrath. I have one from Moonlit. This is the Loon Number no. 49 Corre Lipstick Pencil. And this one is in like a berry red, like that one. This one is a Kylie Cosmetics one. And this one, it like was broken. It's been broken for a long time. It's, you know, it's old packaging. So I'm gonna declutter that. Then I have another one of the regular pencil lip liners from NYX and this one's in nude pink. So holding on to that one. And then I have one from Wet n Wild. It's the Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner. This one is in the shade Plum Together. So just decluttering too, it's fine. Put those back. Now let's move on into the drawers. This first drawer here is where I keep all of my mascaras, eyeshadow bases, and brow products. I don't have a lot of brow products or eyeshadow bases because I just keep a pretty limited supply of like the pencils that I really like. I have the Benefit Precisely Brow, one from Tristique, one of the like e.l.f. liners. I have an e.l.f. precision liner and one from Sephora. I just love all of those. I'm just, I don't know, an eyebrow pencil gal, but I do wanna go through the mascaras and I have, I think, one other one up on the vanity. So, so I'll grab that one and we will go through these. Definitely some here that I need to get rid of. I also keep in here like lash glue. This is a Kiss lash adhesive. Oh, I just, I don't know. I wasn't a fan of this. I had a hard time working with it. So I'm gonna declutter it. One that I really do like, which is from Lava. I don't know why I like this or why it works so well, but it does. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. I have a little one, Duo Eyelash Adhesive. I haven't really tried this or opened this yet, so I'm gonna hold on to that. This is one of the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascaras. This was the waterproof version. I think this is like on the older side, and honestly, I just didn't love like this crazy bristled wand. It's just a little much for me. And because it's old, I'm gonna get rid of this one. This Bite Beauty one, you can't get this anymore. It's almost dried out. It's just older, I haven't reached for it. Gonna declutter that. Another one that I'm gonna declutter is this mini Lancome mascara. It's like old and I need to, I really need to declutter this. I don't wanna keep this. This little one from Clinique is like a lower lash mascara. It's just had its time. I just don't use lower lash mascara that much. And when I do, I'll just use the same mascara. So I'm gonna declutter that. 
The MAC Stack Mascara, I actually really do like this, but it's a formula that kind of irritates my eyes a little bit. I hate to say it, but I just, I'm not ready to get rid of it. I haven't had it that long and it's a good mascara. Like I really like it. Um, the rest of these I'm gonna hold on to on this side in this container. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I really like that one. The Make Waves Mascara from Tower 28. When I want like a really black, really clean mascara, I'll use the Push Up Lashes from Charlotte Tilbury. One that's similar is the Lancome Tint Dual Mascara. I really like this one from Lancome. I have one of the Maybelline Sky High mascaras. I had a one in the pink packaging, but I guess I got rid of it because I got a little bit older, but I like this mascara as well. This was on my vanity, and so is this. This is a new launch from Simi Haze. It's the um, tubing mascara from them, and I actually do quite like this. I have a mini here from One Size. This is the Fantasize mascara. It's just a mini, but it's like one of the most curling mascaras that I have in my collection, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. I love my Lash Princess, my Thrive Cosmetics tubing mascara, holding on to that. My Holy Grail, the Lawless One and Done mascara, have repurchased this multiple times. Have repurchased these two multiple times as well. I have the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I'm actually a fan of this, I like it. I have the Big Mood Mascara from e.l.f. Dislike this, not really a volumizing mascara girl, so decluttering that. All right, moving on into this next drawer. This is where I keep all of my clean sponges, all of my clean brushes, and then I keep backups of Precisely My Brow from Benefit. I think these are all in the shade three. Yeah, and I think the other one I have is 3.5. So I haven't even opened these yet, but there's a bunch of like liners here that I know, I don't think I'm gonna keep a lot of them. I just don't use them that often. So I'd like to keep like, I don't know, maybe two blacks and then like a couple of the colors and then just get rid of the rest. So I'm gonna take these and set these on the floor. Okay, there are three, I think there are four here that are like your liquid like felt tip liners and I just don't even use them that much to be keeping all four of them. So this is the newest one, the Colorful Wink It Felt Liner. It's waterproof from Sephora. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. And then these three that I have here, um, the LA Colors Precise Eye Marker, I have the graphics one from LA Colors and then an Intensify Me from CoverGirl. I just don't use them enough to keep them, so I'm gonna get rid of those. This is another one of those felt tips, but this is so precise. Like this is the most precise one and it's so pigmented and beautiful. This one is from Estate. And so I'm gonna hold on to this one and then the Sephora one. I have a King Cole like pencil liner. Then I have one from Sephora. This is a waterproof retractable eyeliner. So I'm gonna get rid of this one from number seven or W7 King, I don't know what this is. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, bye. I have like this little mini one from LA Colors. I don't know, I like the Sephora one better. I'm just not using liners that much in my waterline, but if I do, the Sephora one is really good. So I'm gonna declutter this and then hold on to the Sephora one. One that I do like is the Luxe Gel Liner, number one kill black. This is a brand called Riri. Like this is a good like pencil retractable gel liner. So I'm gonna hold on to that. This one is one from Urban Decay. It's the 24 seven glide on pencil and tiger's eye. It has a little bit of a shimmer. I like that. I have one brown one from ColourPop, one white, white jumbo marker from NYX, and then a potted liner from Maybelline. Um, I'm gonna hold on to this one because you know, having a potted liner sometimes is good. So holding on to those and then decluttering these five. Moving on into the next drawer. Ooh, this is all my cream and liquid blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. I honestly don't wanna get rid of any. I'm such a cream and liquid fanatic. I just think it would be unfair if I didn't go through these. I'm probably not gonna call out every single shade, but if you're interested in something that you see, just ask me and I will like come up here and I'll get the shade for you. Just ask me in the comments. Otherwise, I'm gonna move through these pretty quickly because I'm just not gonna get rid of any of them. Plus I have more on my vanity and more in some boxes on the floor. So I'll pull these out, we'll go through these. Okay, here's everything. Um, like I said, I think I have a problem, but it's fine. There's only one in here that I can see that I wanna get rid of. So I'll just go through and show each of them to you. I have one from ABH, 
one of the stick blushes. I know this one is in the shade Latte. This is a new release from Simi Haze. It's a like liquid blush. This was actually really nice, really pigmented. It says that it's like a sheer formula. It's a serum-like formula, but I actually found that it was quite pigmented. It wasn't sticky and it dried down, so it was a good formula. This is a new to me product. This is the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude. This is a really like uber pigmented cream to powder formula. I love this. It's like my favorite cream blush at the current moment. So definitely pick this up in other shades. I have a cushion blush from the Creme Shop. I think this is like almost empty. I've used so much of it. I love it. Best cushion blush. Such a good product. Super pigmented. It has like a nice sheen to it and it lasts a really long time on the cheeks. So this is a really good one. I don't know how many shades this comes in. So good I picked up the cushion highlighter and cushion bronzer from La Creme. I have one here from Wander Beauty that I'm still testing out. It's actually like a blush and highlighter duo. I thought the formula was really good. I'm more of a fan of the blush than I am the highlighter, but it's a really good formula. It's not an overly creamy stick formula, but it is nice and it lasts a good amount of time on the cheeks. I have one here from She Glam. This is one from their like Sunday picnic collection. This is the Cheeky Color Jam. This is fairly new to me. Super pigmented. It's beautiful. I do really like this shade. I think I have two from About Face. Do I have two from About Face? Yeah, I have two from About Face. So I have one in more of like an apricot color. This is in Quickie, and then this one is in Raunchy. These are so good. <laughs> They're so easy to apply, and they're so creamy and like lasting on the cheeks. I love these. I picked up two shades that are like fairly similar, I guess. It's just a shade that I really like. I like a lot of oranges, so these are great. I have one from Make Beauty. This is such a vibrant color, but it's such a good, super pigmented, super poppy blush. Great for the spring. Oh, I love this. I have one from Winky Lux. This is their little rose <laughs> blush. I think it's so cute, but it's also such a good blush. It's super long lasting and it's quite easy to pick up on like a kabuki brush or just a dense brush. I like this one. I have two here from the drugstore. I have the velvet blush from LA Girl. It's like the wet and wild blush stick. I just think these are super inexpensive. They perform really well. They're really long lasting on the cheek. So good drugstore option stick blushes. I have one here from Rowan Beauty. This is new to me as well. It's just a cream blush in natural rose. It's beautiful. I love the shade. It's a good finish, pretty long lasting. I have one from Fenty Beauty. That's the new limited edition holiday release, the duo. Um, I think it's okay. Like I like the formula. This shade I don't like that much, but this one I prefer a little bit more, but it only came out in one shade, so I picked it up, but holding on to this because it is new. One from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beauty Light Wand in Pink Gasm. Holding on to this one. I have two of the Melt Cream Blush Lights. Such a good, good formula. Like it's so easy to work with. A little bit of product goes a really long way. It's so long lasting. I love these. One that's new to me that's just kind of silly is the Hard Candy Selfie Cheek Tint. And it's like a clear liquid, but it's like one of those pH ones where you put it on your cheeks and it turns pink. And it's like the same color as the doe foot applicator, even though the product inside is clear. So it's kind of fun, uber pigmented, like it has a lot of pigmentation. So it's a pretty fun one. It's not a color that I like, but I think this only came in one shade and I wanted to test it out and like see how the formula worked. So it's new, I'm gonna hold on to it. This is one of those Color Blossom like blushes that has the little dot doe foot applicator. I think this is really good. I like the little tiny doe foot applicator. One of my favorite cream blushes is the new or new packaging or reformulation from Honest Beauty. Such a beautiful color, such a beautiful formula. I have one from Kaja. It's the Butter Up Play Bento. Well, it's the Play Bento, but this one's in shade 01 Butter Up. I do not love the blush in here. It's just not a color that I like very often, and it's powder. This is a cream bronzer. Actually, I think that's why I have it in here is because it's a, a cream bronzer and it's supposed to be with my cream bronzers, but nevertheless, I'm gonna hold on to this one. I have one here from Alley Oop. I actually really do like this product. This is a trio that's all cream, cream highlighter, cream blush, cream bronzer. This is again a situation where I don't really love the cream blush color, but I like the formula, so still gonna hold on to this for now. 
One that I am considered decluttering is the Love Cheek Duo from Natasha Denona. This is just on the older side and this looks pretty dried out. I wanna see if I can like pop out the blush in this and just keep the highlighter since the highlighter is a powder product and Natasha makes these punchable. Yeah, this just isn't like the right key. The key that I have is for like my Lorac shadows. It's just too big for this. So I'll have to find something else to take it out, but I think I'm gonna declutter the cream side because as you can see, I mean, it's not like dried out, like it gets a good amount of pigmentation, but it just is older and it like doesn't like look great, but the highlighter I really like. So I'll pop that out. I'll figure out how to pop that out and pop the blush in, keep the highlighter. I have one from Milani, super good formula. It's Cheek Kiss. I think I just have one shade. I don't know. I Great drugstore cream blush. One from LYS. I almost never reach for this. This looks like the Natasha Denona again, where it's just kind of like, I don't know, on the drier side. It's a drier formula anyway. I think it still has like good pigmentation to it. I don't know. I barely tapped into it. So maybe I'll keep it for one more go round and then get rid of it. And remember, the intent here was not to get rid of any of my blushes because I'm just, I'm not ready. This one is one from Tower 28. It's the Beach Please in Magic Hour. Uh, really good, like, dewy formula. I have one from Ritual Defi. I like this. I like this shade. It's not as, like, gray as it looks in the pan. It's more, like, neutral on the cheeks. I have two from Rare Beauty. I have one in the matte finish and then one in the dewy finish. This one's in the shade Joy and then grace one of my favorite formulas for like cream blushes is it's from seraphine botanicals it's a really expensive palette but it is such a long lasting cream formula this is like a product that nobody talks about a brand that nobody talks about it's on the more expensive side but like so good the formulation on this 10 out of 10. i'm, I'm gonna declutter this it's time this one's older it's not a shade that i love it's a little mini from fenty but it's going on like three years, I think, or two years at this point. Like, I don't know, bye. I have a little one from Believe Beauty. I think these are really good. This one's in Doll Face. I'm holding on to this one for reference sake. It's one of the Dew Blushes. Not a fan of this formula, too sticky. Sorry, say, sorry, everybody out there who really likes these, just not my thing. I have one of the Luminous Putty Blushes from e.l.f. Super nice, like neutral shade keeping that i have one of the ones from she glam it's a stiffer stick formula but i think it's still really good really long lasting it's not hard to blend out i have one from laura mercier this one is in praline oh such a sophisticated blush on the cheeks just very natural nude color another stick this is from ooh, m cosmetics such a creamy formula love her stick products in the blush and bronzer love this one this is a mac one it's the glow play blush and this is in the shade cheer up like really good bouncy cream formula i have one from jacqueline cosmetics this is such a good product i think it's probably nearing the time where i need to get rid of it but it's so creamy and so pigmented i think it was from the bougie rouge collection so i'll hold on to that one from westman atelier i really like this it's a very like neutral pink mauve shade I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is older. It's not a shade that I reach for. I said I was gonna hold on to it until like, I don't know, next fall, but here's fall and I'm not reaching for it at all and it's getting older, so I'm, I'm gonna let this one go. This one's from I Meme. It's a Korean brand and it's their Pet Balm, so pigmented. It's not even hard to work with even though it's in like a squeezy tube. A tiny bit comes out and it's so easy to blend on the cheeks. It's a little bit more rusty of a color than I like, but I do like the formula. When I really want like a matte finish, I'll use the Danessa Myricks Color Fix. This is a really pigmented, like high def formula. It's just, I don't know, like a little bit goes a long way. So it's good for a matte finish and I don't think it's finicky at all. I have one from ColourPop. I'm not a huge fan of the Super Shock Cheek blushes. I know that that's like not a you know, popular opinion. I don't think it picks up very well on my brushes or my sponges. It's just a me thing probably, but I think the formula is really nice. I like the sheen. I have one from Glossier, the Cloud Paints. It's in the shade Dusk, that's nice. I have one Holica Holica. It's the Jelly Dough Blusher. Oh, this is actually such a good product. Like a little bit goes a long way. 
super pigmented, very easy to work with. Yeah, it's just a really good formula. I have one of the convertible, I don't know, cheek colors from Stila. I think this is a really like creamy, easy to work with product and it's like, you know, meant for cheek and lip. I have one from Kaja that I really like. It keeps a little plastic on it. Another one of those like bouncy formulas like the MAC Glow Play blushes. And then finally, I have one from Victoria Beckham. It's kind of a harder stick formula, but I like it. It's not my most reached for stick blush by any means, but it's a good one. All right, let's put all these back. Okay, here are all of the cream and liquid bronzers. Again, kind of an obsession. I even have more than this in the box that's just over there that I haven't even like tried yet. And I think one more, I don't know, like on my vanity somewhere that I just haven't tested. And so they're new to me. So obviously they're not going anywhere, but I didn't, I've never tried them before. So, you know, I didn't want to feature them here with the rest of my bronzers. I'm gonna go through all of these and just like briefly touch on them. Again, if you're interested in the shade, just like let me know and I can come up here and look up the shade for you. This one is a new bronzer to me. It's from the Lower East Side. I just think it's a really like neutral, good cream bronzer. I really do like this. I've only tried this like one or two times, but so far it's good. I have one here from Rose Ink that I think fares on like the warmer side. And so this is one that I've tried a couple of times and I don't know if I'm gonna keep it yet, but I'm still testing it out. Same thing with the Refi. It's even warmer than the Rose Ink one. So this may not be something that I keep really because it's just really, really warm for me. I've been wearing it to test it out, but like every time I see myself with it, it just looks a little bit orange. So I don't know, holding on to it for now. Some really neutral ones is the NARS Laguna in 01. Super creamy, super neutral color. The Chanel Le Beige, I love this. Oh, a little product goes a long way. This will take me forever to get through. Such a good cream bronzer with a neutral tone. I have one from She Glam. It's one of the Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour. So technically it's a contour, so it's more of a gray color. Love it. We'll use it as a bronzer too, because I don't sculpt and bronze. I have another one from She Glam and the stick. This is just like the blush. It's a little bit harder of a formula, but it blends out so nicely and it's a pretty neutral color. So I do like it. I have one from Merit. I love this bronzer, but I hate the packaging. Really neutral tone, super creamy and easy to apply. It's just that it never like goes all the way back down. And so I'm always worried that I'm gonna stab it, <laughs> but otherwise it's really good. I have one of the matte ones from Milk Makeup. This is just a mini. This is a recent purchase. It's just like harder formula, but I like a matte cream bronzer. So like that one. I have one from Makeup by Mario. It's the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in Light. Obviously could be not a bronzer. That's how I use it. I have one from Tarte from their Sea Breezy collection. Such a good formula. Really neutral tone, super creamy, super pigmented. I really like this one. I have one from Touch and Soul. It's like on the warmer side and I've had it for a little bit. I think that I'm gonna hold on to it though for like one more spring and summer and see if I like it, like if I like the warmth. It's just a little bit of a warmer shade for me and it's designed for like, you know, face and body, whatever. I'm, I'm not gonna use it on my body, but I just think that maybe into more neutral colors these days, but I will hold on to it for now. This one is still in the box. I've tried it once, I'm still testing it out. It's the Toasty Bronzer from the Creme Shop. It's another one of those cushion ones, but it might be a little bit too deep for me. I believe this was their lightest shade. So for now, I'm gonna hold on to this because 
I'm still testing it and we'll see if it sticks around. I have one from Say Beauty. I think this is a pretty good one. I, I think that in comparison to like the Refi one and the Rose Ink, like the Say is 10 times better in terms of tone. It's just not as warm. It's like the right amount of warmth where I think this one's just a little bit too much. So I'm holding on to this. One of my favorite contours is the Huda Beauty Tantor. It's the contour and bronzer cream. It's such a great, great product. Super emollient, super creamy, can be used for bronzing and contouring. I love this. One that I really like for the spring and summer is the Tower 28 Bronzino in West Coast. So good, good amount of shimmer, nice. This one is great. This is a new release from Oma Beauty by Sharon C. It's the Flawless IRL Bronzer in Sandy. I picked up like three of her new releases from this recent launch where I think there were like five or six products. And this is a cream to powder for finish, but look how neutral it is. It's so good for fair skin. I'm really loving this. Speaking of cream to powder, this is the ColourPop Super Shock Bronzer in Get Sandy. This is another one that I have a love-hate relationship with, just like the cheek one in the blush because I have a hard time picking up this product, but it is beautiful once I get it onto the cheeks. Another contour is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. This one is a good one. I think it's fairly new. Like it, I've hardly used any of this. I have one here from Winky Lux. This is newer to me as well. It's a good neutral shade. It's just a harder stick formula. Like it tugs on my skin and I do apply it with a sponge, but again, it's just like a harder stick a little bit tacky of a formula, not super creamy. It lasts a good amount of time, but it's a little bit difficult to apply. I have one of the new Milani releases. Again, this is a contour. It's too much of a like warm tone though to be a contour for me. So it, it really is a bronzer, it's in honey. So that's how I use it as like a liquid bronzer. I'm still testing this out. So this is like in the boxes on the floor. I think I wanna get rid of this. This is the Glossier solar paint in the shade flare it has a doe foot applicator i just don't know that this is my favorite like i just don't like doe foot applicators to apply it like i prefer that it has like the this like puffy like i like this i just dot it on and then i blend it out with a sponge it's a liquid so it's nice this one i just i don't know i don't like the texture of it, it was something finicky about me <laughs> i guess oh i have such a hard time getting rid of like liquid cream products that i don't know maybe i'll hold on to this for a little bit longer it's honestly just not my favorite and getting rid of something so small is not going to help free up more space so i will continue to give it a shot and really push myself to use it i have one from makeup by mario huge fan of this very creamy i prefer though in stick formula the m cosmetics one the best such a good, good stick formula product. Second to that is the Rare Beauty one. This one is just a little bit warmer than the M Cosmetics one, so I like them both. They're both super creamy. This one's just a little bit more warm toned and that's more neutral. I have one from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I think this is a little bit warm, but it's a really good, like a lot of little product goes a long way and it's smaller, so it's easy to store. And then I have one of the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. Super good to powder formula, nice finish, good neutral tone. Wish maybe it wasn't so humongous. I'm just gonna move straight on into the liquid and cream highlighters. I have these here on the floor, so I think we just keep moving. I have one from the Creme Shop. This is another one that I purchased with the bronzer and I've only used it once. It's one of the cushion ones. It's in like rose gold and the packaging like doesn't close anymore. So I am scared it's gonna like dry out. And for being in a shade that's called like rose gold, it was like a sh wash of white. I don't think I'm a huge fan of this. I don't recommend this product. It just wasn't my favorite but I really like the blush. One of my favorite liquid products. I think the bronzer is a little bit warm and I was not a fan of this. I'm gonna hold on to this because it's still in the box and I'm still testing it. One that I'm definitely gonna declutter after I do my roundup of all my November like speed reviews, my faves and fails of the Glossier one. This is just like, I don't like sticks. I've come to find that it's just not a preference of mine. And while the formula might be good and like it might be an okay product, I just, it's not my favorite. I don't like stick highlighters like I like stick blushes and bronzers so I'm only holding on to this for another month and then I will be decluttering that 
I'm going to be honest with myself here in this Believe Beauty one. As beautiful as this is, this is so much product and I just don't like putting this on the back of my hand and then applying it to my face because no matter what, like I always get excess product. So I'm going to let this go. Another one that I'm going to let go, just because I said that I really don't like stick formulas in my highlighters. I think this is beautiful. I like a lot of the Wet n Wild stick products, but I just don't like this application. I just don't. I don't think that it picks up very well on a sponge. I just, I don't know. It's something about highlighters and stick format that just me and it don't jive. This is another new one from Milani. It's the liquid highlighter. I do like this one because it comes with the applicator, just like the Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. I like both of these. I'm still testing this one out, so I'm gonna keep it. One that I'm gonna let go is the Flower Beauty Day Glow. It's a highlighting glaze. It's just, um, I don't know, it's just really sheer, and so it doesn't pick up on my cheeks very well. And I think if I'm going for something that's like natural, I actually prefer the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I think this one like has a better effect than this, it's just more sticky and like hard to work with. So I'm gonna hold on to the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I'm gonna let the Flower Beauty one go. As far as like the potted format goes, the Winky Lux one is so good. It's so creamy and so emollient. It looks so beautiful on the skin and it's super easy to apply. It's just really, really creamy. Look, it's just so gorgeous. So I'm gonna hold on to this one as well. So that's really, I don't know, me just holding on to four and then testing this and then I will be getting rid of that one. So I was able to make more sense of this drawer, like nothing is falling out of the containers now. So I do think that I have pared this down pretty well. That's not to say that it's not gonna explode soon, especially from some of the stuff that I'm testing didn't go in here, so. For now, we are good. This is where I keep all of my lip products and I just did a full declutter of all of my lip products. If you wanna see that, check out my declutter playlist because it's in there and I go through and I swatch and I organize all of my lip products. So this is pared down perfectly. Again, if you're interested in seeing like a more in-depth video on that, check out my playlist. Down here is where my eyeshadows start and then the drawers over here are all eyeshadows. I don't know that I want to get rid of anything. I think eyeshadows are like a hard category for me because, well, I love them all. <laughs> and I'll keep like one palette if I like one shade in it or I think that I'll like it. I don't know. I don't know that I want to go through this because I feel like my preferences in eyeshadows are changing right now. I'm finding different formulas I like more. And so I'm afraid to like declutter anything and then it turns out to be that I really like its formula or it's a color story that I'm going to reach for more these days than others. And so I'm afraid to like, you know, make any big decisions and I just love eyeshadows. So these are like my start of my singles and small palettes and then some of my Pat McGrath and I don't know, Kaleidos and others. I have them all mixed in here, but I just don't think that I want to go through the eyeshadows individually. I mean, I'll let you kind of take a look here, but I definitely know that there are some that I don't want to hold on to, but I think I'm going to go quickly through the drawers and just take them out. This is one of the drawers on the other side. In here, I just don't want to keep these ones from BH Cosmetics. This was a new release and they were, I think, four little palettes that they had launched and they had launched some other neutral ones. They were just, oh, there was five but they were all so bad. Like I just really didn't like them. This is not a color story that I like. So because the formula was so terrible, I just, I don't know. I just don't feel like I wanna keep these. Like I have so many other BH Cosmetics palettes that are so good and this formula was so terrible. This reformulation after um, Makeup Revolution bought them. Oof, I don't know. I know that they just came out with like new releases of something else and I was like so burned by these quads. And I was like, man, I really just don't want to try them. So I'm going to declutter these ones. Everything else, this is all my BH Cosmetics. I have some Huda in here. I think these are my big Huda palettes. Yeah, the Quartz, the Mercury Retrograde, the New Nude, and then some of her little ones. And the rest are just BH Cosmetics. I do have like a full eyeshadow collection video. So if you want to see all these in depth, you can check that out as well in my Makeup Declutter playlist. This is where I keep my... ColourPop, I, I like all of these. I did declutter some, my Juvia's Place. I have um, Natasha Denona in here. Like it's just a mixture, like whatever fits. I actually really like this one from Violet Boss. I think Adept Cosmetics. Yeah, I had to put another Huda. Why did I do that? Yeah, 
crap, that's better. <laughs> okay. Um, ooh, Lunar Beauty, so good. Jaclyn Hill, I don't know, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a maybe. Like, that's teetering on my, um, my Nabla ones. I have the Hella Palette from Odinzai, Balani ones, my ABH. Love my ABH. I have more uh, Odin's Eye here, some Sigma ones. Yeah, none of those I want to get rid of. Okay, I'm actually going to drop the camera down for this one because this one is the drawer that I'm like, I just don't like the most. And so these palettes go in the bottom. I have one here from Profusion. I had this one and only this one that I worked with like three years ago before I started building my collection. And so it's a little bit older. And honestly, I just never, ever reach for it. It's not a bad formula at all. It's really, really good formula, but honestly, I would rather reach for my more expensive palettes to get more use out of them than I do this one. And because it's older, I've had my love with it. I have loved the heck out of this, so it's time to let it go. Another one from Profusion, and this is fairly new, is the Mauves palette. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It just wasn't as good a formulation as this one. This one was 10 times better, super long lasting, really easy to blend. This one, I just kind of find that the shades like all run together and it has like no good shimmers in it. Like I just don't like the shimmers in here. So I'm going to declutter that one. I'm sorry, but I think it's time to let the Rare Beauty one go. Just not a formulation that is better than some of my other palettes. And it's a nice color story. I don't know. I never reach for this. It's just sitting here. I've used it maybe two times. And that's just how I feel about it. Like there are so many others in my collection that I would reach for over this. So I'm going to let it go. Another one I'm going to let go is one from Makeup Revolution. I like this one of all like the tin color stories or tin packaging. This is like one that I've held on to. I have had other ones. I am going to let this one go as well. And that's it for the eyeshadows, but I have some up on the vanity that I will show you and a couple more in some of the boxes over there that I'll show you really quickly. Still testing those out, so definitely going to hold on to those. Okay, so I just pulled out some of the palettes that were around the room, and I even have like a bigger stack here to my right. I was going to go through each of these and show them to you because they're not in my eyeshadow declutter or collection video. These are just new to me palettes, so... I thought it would be cool to at least go through these because you can't see them anywhere else on my channel. Let's jump into these. I picked up one of the Ulta, what are these called? Lustrous Foil Eyeshadows. I really like the ones from Sephora and I thought that I would give this a shot and it looks great. Like it looks really chunky, but I swatched it once and it looks like oh, so pigmented and beautiful and wet. So I think I'm really gonna enjoy this, but I haven't tried this one yet. This is not a new launch, but this is one from M Cosmetics. This is the Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. I wanted to try this formula for a really long time and I finally pulled the trigger. I do like this. I don't think these are the longest lasting shadows, but I think it's a cute, like compact palette. And I think that they were okay shadows, but again, still testing it out. I have one from Rowan Beauty that I'm not overly impressed with upon first impression. This one is like a really hard pressed shade. These were nicer because they're more cream, but this just felt really chunky. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to love these, but again, this is one that I'm still testing out. I have the other one from Flower Beauty. What is it called? The Desert Lights. And I've had this one for a couple of years, but I really wanted to pick up the Jungle Lights. So I got this one recently. And I actually think that I like that it has this lighter shimmer in here where this one doesn't have like a white or champagne shimmer. So I'm glad that I got this one originally. I thought it would just kind of like be too dark, but I don't think so. Oh, look at that. Just a light, light touch. So good. So glad I got this. I've used it once, but it's the same great formula. I have five here from Viseart. These are all part of their new launches. There were nine that came out, I believe, just recently, but I only picked up five, not only, <laughs> but I picked up five of the ones that I liked the color story. Some of the other ones just look like maybe I wouldn't get as much use out of them. So this is the Petite Foise. This is Violetta. It's so pretty. It, it's just like, a, like you have this um, multi-dimensional shadow, some really, really good shimmers, one solid matte, so... I think I'm gonna really like this. Haven't tried it yet. This one is the Lilac Du. The so really pretty, kind of a, a mauvey, purpley color story. Well, lilac, you get it. And this one's the Amelie, I believe is how it's pronounced. And it's kind of um, a warm toned one, but I like shades like this. I'm worried that these are too similar and won't provide a whole lot of depth, but I just like warm toned shadows, especially for fall. And this one is the London, 
Etoile, Etoile, neutral and purples, really pretty. And this one is the San Francisco one. It's like neutral with a pop of teal. I don't know, has some warm tones in there too, so I like this. Look, I lied. I think this is one of their new releases as well. So I got six and not five. This is the La Mara, I think is how it's pronounced. Very warm toned palette with a couple pops of purple. I have swatched this, but I have not used this yet. So none of these have I tried. This is also a new release. This is the um, Eye Service Eye Quad in Eyes Eyes, no, Eyes Eyes Baby in Dreaming is the color story. This is one of the other new releases that I got from Oma Beauty um, by Sharon C from Walmart of her like five recent launches, five or six launches. But this eyeshadow formula is so good. Like I was not expecting how good this was. Have used it once, but I can already tell you I'm a huge fan of this formula. Now, on a whim, I just picked up this Ruby Gems palette from Perfusion when I placed a big order with Perfusion. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm probably not going to use this that often, but I liked the colors and sometimes it's nice to play around with glitters. I have some more here. They're all in boxes. I haven't even pulled them out yet. This is a new release from Moira Beauty. It's a, the I'm Falling For You palette. Okay, I just opened it. It's cute. It's like a little book and it comes with a card that I have no idea what this is. This is cute. I think this is like a duochrome. It's definitely multi-dimensional. This just looks like a really, really beautiful color story. So I'm excited to play with this one. And I bought some other stuff from Moira Beauty. I know that they're not like a new brand, but I've never tried them and I want to give them a shot. So, and I did pick up like a couple of other items from them and I'm probably going to do it in like a, a testing new makeup video. So I'm going to save this one for that. I have the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. Have opened it haven't tried it, was gonna do this, like a dedicated video to this. I would not be the first one, obviously, but I still wanted to do it. I'm just a little bit behind in making some videos, but you know, I'm not very popular on YouTube anyway, so. <laughs> oh well, some of these are just so beautiful. Like this one looks so good. And these like pinky tones are really nice. And I even love this like green light shimmer. So I think I'm gonna have some fun with that. Again, probably a video that I'll do like a dedicated review on. So excited for that. This one I bought back in, I think October and I never got around to making a video on it. I just don't know. If I'll do like a dedicated video like I thought I would. I think I'll just putting it in a testing new makeup video. It's the Robin Eisenberg and Urban Decay. It's a naked palette, but the artist I guess is Robin Eisenberg and she based this off like the art and kind of the color story, like sunsets in California. So I'm excited to try this new palette and test out the naked formula again because it's been some time since I've actually like played with the naked palettes. I have two new um, palettes from Melt Cosmetics. This was from their Bad Side Zodiac collection. There were four, I only got two. I got Air and Earth because I just, I don't know, I liked the color stories better. I tested this formula out for the first time and I think that Melt Cosmetics actually has a really nice formulation. I think that I've heard that Melt's palettes can be a hit or miss, but I thought this formulation was really good. So I enjoyed those. I do have a, a video up testing those out. This is some single shadows from Davina. I did feature this on my makeup, like eyeshadow collection declutter video, but I just haven't played around with these. These were new. I did customize this palette and I still want to play with them. So they've been sitting on my vanity. Here's an eyeshadow palette from Item Beauty. This is in my element. I also picked up one of her like cream to powder blushes that I'm dying to try. They're not new releases, but yeah. Anyway, I haven't tried it yet. And then I got this in a boxy charm. So I thought, hmm, well, I'll test this formula as well. It looks really pretty. I like this like almost lilac. Yeah, it is like a lilac shimmer. It just looks really good, so I'm interested to test this formula out. I haven't even, that was the first time I even looked at the color story. I don't even think I've pulled this out of the box yet. I picked this up in October too when it launched. It's the Troublemaker palette from ColourPop. I think I've swatched this. I'm pretty sure I've swatched it. I also picked it up with two Jelly Much shadows, one in like a white shade and one in a purple shade, and they're in the box over on the floor. I don't know, really grungy, deep palette. So I thought I would give this a shot. ColourPop just has so many launches that like 
I'm, I'm getting pickier about what I am buying. And so unless it's really like a unique color story, I'm just passing most of the time. But I thought this one was pretty unique, at least in my collection. I don't have anything that's quite as like grungy and multi-dimensional as that one. This is another new release from Beauty Bay. It's the Dark Fantasy palette. I haven't tried any Beauty Bay shadows, so I picked this up. Even though this is a pretty dark and pretty colorful color story, there are still some shades in here like the shimmer ones that I'm dying to test out because all the shimmer ones look like colors, maybe minus this green and black one that I would wear on an everyday basis. So I do want to test the formula and excited to try the shimmers. Still haven't tried this one and I think it came out in October. I have swatched that palette though in one of my haul videos. All right, I'm moving this next stack over. So I have the new NARS Stargaze eyeshadow palette. This came out as a holiday collection. I'm sure it's limited edition. It came out with the Rising Star Cheek palette and I've never tried the NARS eyeshadow formula. So I loved the way that the cheek palette looked. So I picked this up too, even though <laughs> you can get the cheek palette on other retailers, but I think it was the eyeshadow that I had to get from the NARS website. I liked this formula. I think that NARS has like a really solid eyeshadow formula in both their shimmers and their mattes. So I've tried this once. I did a dedicated video on these. So if you're interested, you can check that out. I think I did a dedicated video on this. I don't know. My thumbnail looks like I'm angry. It's really weird. <laughs> I did a more pinky look, which is like super safe. Like this palette could just do so much more. You could get orange look, a green look. This is the shade that's not safe for the eyes. I could have just gotten a like much grungier look out of it, but I wanted to test the formula and I was going somewhere, so I went safe. Yeah, but this is the new Rose Metals palette from ABH. So I did like the formula. I'm a huge fan of like ABH shadows. This is one from Adept Cosmetics. It's not a new release, but it's new to me. It's Ninhydrin. I think I, I, yeah, I've definitely swatched this in a haul video, but I have not tried this formula out. I really like their shimmers, so I wanted to get my hands on that one. This, I started to peel off the front cover, which is like a dum-dum. That's not what you're supposed to do, but it's the new Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. I have used this a couple of times. I have to say though, like in my using it, like some of these shades are my favorite with her other palettes of this size. I actually like the formulation a little bit better. In this chunky glitter here, it's not a glitter, it's a shimmer, but it's like really chunky. I don't know if this was my favorite. I don't regret getting it for sure. Like I love the Huda Beauty formula. I just don't think this one was as good as her other ones. I have two of the new Tarte Holiday releases. This was Gilded Glamour, Gilded and Glamour, something like that. But this one was the more pinky neutral color story. I have used this quite a bit. I do like the formulation. Here's one that I've only swatched. I have not tested on my eyes. So still need to test that out. I'm still keeping this on my vanity because I've only used it like two times, but it's the My Dream palette. I have a dedicated video on this as well. But again, just haven't used it enough. This is a new release from LA Girl. Pretty neutral, pretty pinky. I did like the formula on it though, so haven't even tested this one. It's the ABH Nouveau palette. Still has the plastic on it. Haven't swatched it. Want to test that out. Really liked this one from Sigma from the... Um, Alice in Wonderland collab. I love their variety of colors in here. I just think that the Sigma shadows perform really well. So I've used that once. I have one from Ace Pute. It's the Violet Sage. And I think that this formula was actually really good. I was really surprised. I kind of thought it would be like, meh, but no, it was pretty decent and only used it once. And this one, honestly, I haven't even used. I, I got this TJ Maxx, but I haven't even touched it yet. So I want to test it out, <laughs> like at least some of the neutral shades. But yeah, that's all of the ones that I have sitting out and around and still testing. Okay, you guys, that is everything here that I have decluttered. Um, if you haven't seen part one of the declutter, please check that out if you are interested. I know that it is not like a huge amount of stuff, but and so even this amount of product that sits there that I know that just doesn't get a lot of love, like it takes up space. And so I feel like getting these out of the drawers made a really big difference. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope I went through things thoroughly enough that you got a little bit of R&R &R from the video because I know that I like them that way where the products are just shown. So hopefully, even though I didn't declutter that much, seeing me go through my collection and talking about each of the products was nice. Again, if you're interested in any of the shades, just let me know and I will be happy to tell you what those are if there's anything that you saw that you liked. I really hope you guys consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already. I'm not going to show you my cell phone camera because I'm just absolutely in my pajamas and I look like a crazy person. If you do consider subscribing, 
subscribing to my channel or are already subscribed to my channel, I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.